In one corner of Pennsylvania's Poconos Mountains, this has been the most normal weekend in two months. Here's why. One of America's most wanted fugitives, suspected cop killer Eric Freen, is finally behind bars. Tonight, we're getting a first look inside the hideout where they found him, and we're learning new details about the moments the marshals brought him down. ABC's Joe Benitez has the story. Tonight, our first look inside the abandoned airport hangar where alleged cop killer Eric Freen was hiding out. Debris on the floor, graffiti on the walls, and right there, a dirty mattress surrounded by a torn up menu board. Authorities now saying it's exactly the kind of place a fugitive would hide, potentially for weeks. The hangar, 35 miles from where Freen allegedly ambushed and murdered Trooper Brian Dixon on September 12th, on the run for 48 days with sightings at a high school, a post office, even an abandoned inn. And tonight, new details about the takedown. Authorities telling us they were clearing the area building by building when suddenly they spot a figure moving towards the abandoned structure. A guy walking a block, he met, he met the description, physicals, for a split second. I, I was like, who's this guy walking in the middle of the field of nowhere? And then I realized that it was him. The survivalist weeks-long reign of terror ending with a surrender. At about uh, this position right here, about five feet away, I said, uh, what's your name? He said, Eric Freen. Uh, my team put handcuffs on him, uh, had, him in, had him in custody. Police now say that gash on Freen's face sustained while officers held him to the ground. Freen would soon be slumped over that police car. <laughs> and residents here breathing a sigh of relief. Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York.